Good morning, grade two. Today we're going to complete all the exercises in this lesson. You've had a long break. I hope you took some time to look at these pages. I'm on a page 106. How to say these words? I'm just going to tell you one time, but you have the video forever, so you can look at it again and again. Draw. To draw a picture. Brown. My hair is brown. Three. My room has three windows. Grow. Plants grow when you water them. Drain. Drain is where wastewater goes down. Um, the drain is blocked. Brain. The part of your body that you use to think with. Throw. Do not throw rubbish on campus. Grapes are delicious and juicy. Drip. To drip means when water comes drop by drop. This tap has started to drip. A brick. Bricks are used to build houses. Thread. You can stitch clothes with a needle and thread. Gray. Nina ma'am has gray hair because she is so old. This is how you say these words. You need to practice this. I'm going to move on to the next page now. A look at the next page. First, you have to color these pictures. All right, I've just colored a part of it. And now, when you read, you'll know why I just colored this part. But you should, you can color all of it. Then you're going to write here. There's a bed and some books, pictures. You're going to fill in the blanks. You're going to do this in your notebooks. You're going to copy it down so you can practice writing. This is my. It looks like a bedroom. So you'll write, this is my bedroom. It has blank window, one window. The color of my bed is blue. You can color it any color. There are blank pictures on the wall. One, two, three pictures on the wall. Then you're going to look at this picture. You see I've colored part of it. This is a living room. It has a sofa in it. We watch television here. It has blank curtains. Well, mine has orange curtains. It has blank table. It has one table. Do this exercise in your notebook and I will move on to page 108. Again, on page 108, it's... um easy because we can look at the pictures. You're going to write these in your notebook also. He is as busy as a bee. Bees are always buzzing about busy making honey. Raj is as slow as a snail. You've had a story about a snail. Please spell it correctly. You can go back and look at the spelling. This pen is as light as a feather. A feather is what birds are covered with. F-E-A-T-H-E-R. Feather. My hair is as black as night. N-I-G-H-T. Night. And that's the end of that exercise on this page. Now let's move on after you've done these in your notebook to page number 109. Here it says, find the right sentence, read the pairs of sentences, fill in the blanks with the opposite of the word in red. Not very difficult. The boy is running very fast. The boy is walking very opposite of fast, slow. The clown at a circus is very happy. The clown is very sad. The girl is walking on a loose rope. Loose, it's hanging loose. And the opposite of loose, the girl is walking on a tight rope. T-I-G-H-T. -T. Tight. A kurta is loose, but mm, pants can be tight. And you should walk on a tight rope because a loose rope will make you fall. Usually it's called tight rope walking. Finish this exercise also with my help. If you have a question, you can ask me. And then we move on to page 110. Changing from singular to plural by adding 
E S I E S or V E S. Now you don't have grammar class anymore. So because I don't think you can learn grammar separate from a language. If you're learning English, you should be learning grammar along with it. Let's begin. They've given so many examples and they've made it so easy because they've put them one under the other. Buffalo, buffaloes. Listen how I'm saying it. I'm not saying buffalo. I'm saying buffalo. One buffalo, many buffaloes. Baby. One baby, many babies. One knife, many knives. And then we do it the same way. One hero, many heroes. One potato, many potatoes. One fly, this is the fly that you see in your houses that buzzes around around our cows. Many flies, I-E-S. One lady, many ladies, I-E-S. One wolf, that wild animal that looks like a dog. Many wolves, and you've seen, didn't we have something about a wolf in the story? One loaf, what is a loaf? A loaf is a whole piece of bread. Sometimes we have loaves, plural. Here I'm drawing it for you. A loaf of bread may look like this. And then we cut it into slices and butter it and eat a slice of bread. This whole thing is a loaf of bread. One loaf, many loaves of bread. And with this, we have finished this lesson completely and all the exercises.